Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani and you're watching Faith by Design. I am here to do a debt update for quarter three. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching. you guys doing today i hope you all are doing well if you are new and this is your first time watching thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you for tuning in we have been on this journey for a while our debt-free journey and i uploaded my first video for youtube for just to hold myself accountable back in march of 2022 and at that time we were about thirty one thousand dollars in debt for all of the high priority debts that we own. So that's the credit card, personal loans, um, credit cards, yeah, IRS as well as at one point. But now we are down, or since the last quarter, in quarter two, we were down to about $18,000. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we did add on some new debt. So stay tuned for that. But let's see where we are so far in at the end of quarter three. So the first debt is the Citibank credit card. That is my credit card. And at the end of quarter two, we were at $1,726. And at the end of quarter three, we are at zero because I paid it off. So I do have my debt-free tracker here. And um, when I initially checked my statement, I saw that instead of November, which I originally thought my payoff date was November, my credit card had to be paid off by September 9th of this year, or I would accrue interest on my balance transfer card. It was at 0% interest for 18 months. And so I really worked hard to pay that sucker off because I did not want any extra interest added on top of that. So we ended up paying the total amount of $1,726 off. So I am super excited about that. And there you have it. I colored it in and we completed that. So we're done with that one. All right. So the next debt is um, the Navy Federal. And this is another credit card of mine. And originally it was at 7,000 or so dollars. And I took half of that and transferred it to the Citibank. So we are left with the remaining balance on Navy Federal. At the end of quarter two, we were at $3,025 and 97 cent. And at the end of quarter three, we're at $2,758. So that's a difference of $267.97. So this is the next one in the debt snowball that we are tackling. And I'm trying to make huge payments monthly to this so that we can pay it off, hopefully by January, February of next year. So all of the extra money that I receive will be going towards this debt. And here is the tracker for my Navy Federal. And right now it looks like we are at 25% of the way done and we have 75% left to go. So so there, there you have it. The starting balance was $3,681.36. So roughly about half of that went to Citibank and the other half stayed with Navy Federal. The interest rate did go back up. So it originally was 14% and it is now at about 18%. So yeah, we're, we're gonna hit it hard for this last quarter and hopefully we can make a significant amount of debt payoff for this card. Okay, so next up we have Interbank and Interbank originally was, let's see, we have our tracker here. So the total debt or the original amount was $7,440. At the end of quarter two, we, are, we were at $4,720.62. And at the end of quarter three, we were at $4,346.44. And 
And that's a difference of $374.18. So slowly but surely, we're making progress with this one. And the interest rate is, I think it's about 18% as well, 17.99. So as you can see with this tracker, and these trackers, by the way, are all from debtfreecharts.com. But we are in level two, and uh, each level is worth $1,850. So we're about 60% done with level two. So we are well on our way. And after my Navy Federal, we will be tackling this one significantly. So we are headed that way. So it's coming. We're coming for you. Okay, next up is Green Sky at the end of quarter two. We were at $615.01. And at the end of quarter three, we're at $315.01. This card or this loan was actually originally at $3,232. And it is a 0% interest loan and it was for three years. So the minimum payment, we pay a little bit over that. So the minimum payment was $93, but we pay about $100 a month. So we should be finished this one by the end of December, if not sooner. I may just try to tackle this one first, and then we can roll the $100 into the snowball payment actually for that one. So we, we shall see. We shall see. But both of these loans, Interbank and Green Sky, were loans that had to do with our home. So yeah. Next, at the end of quarter two, Fidelity was at $8,141.10. At the end of quarter three, it was at $7,625. That is a difference of $516.10. And Fidelity is my 403B loan that I'm in the process of paying back. I pay it monthly. And um, this loan, you have to pay, you can't like throw extra payments at it. If you're behind, you can make up past payments, but you have to pay off the full amount in order for you to be able to make extra payments. So that's why it's at the end, and that probably will be the last of the debts that I focus on. So if we just went off this list here without any of the new debt calculated in, at the end of quarter two, we were at $18,228.70. And by the end of quarter three, we were at $15,044.45. So that's a difference of $3,184.25. So I believe that is a great amount that we paid off in quarter three. And a big chunk of that, of course, came from Citibank. So I'm glad we had that amount that we were able to pay. And we were on the downward trend. But things happen. As we know, if you have uh, been here a while, you know that in the summer, our AC went out completely, stopped cooling the house and everything. So we were suffering pretty much the whole summer. Okay. But needless to say, uh, we ended up making the decision to replace the AC unit, which it's two of them because one is for the upstairs, one is for the downstairs. So we have two of those. And then even though we replaced them, it still wasn't cooling the house effectively. So um, our HVAC technician, he looked into it and we were also having to purchase the coils, evaporator coils that are attached to the furnace. That of course is inside of your house in the attic. So we bought those everything was okay but upon installing them we decided since our system is 20 years old that we should replace just the whole thing so that way everything is brand new and it runs as efficiently as possible so that's what we did so with um, some of the expenses we were able to pay out of pocket and then some of them we also received a refund check so we were able to apply that as well as a warranty refund check. So with all of those included, we still had to take out some debt, but it's not as bad as it seems. So we purchased two furnaces as well with all of that, as well as, you know, everything else. 
So by the time we calculated everything, we still had to, to take out debt, unfortunately. But we ended up getting a credit card for 0% interest for 18 months. So at the end of uh, about August of this year, which was still in quarter three, we apply for the card and everything. So we put the remaining balance on that and it was $6,210. And then at the end of September, we made a $100 payment. So the balance is now at $6,110. So when we add this debt, in addition to the other ones that we had previously, we are overall for quarter three up by $21,000. $154.45. So let me just show you here. Um, so starting in quarter one, we were at $20,672.77. Then in quarter two, we were at $18,228.70. In quarter three, we're back up to $21,154.45. So we added on from the previous uh, month. I'll insert it here if I get it figured out. But yeah, that's where we are. So I feel like the debt-free journey. <laughs> if you can tell by the thumbnail, you saw my thumbnail. After thinking about it, I just feel like the debt-free journey is definitely like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> so you have your ups where you're just climbing slowly up, making progress slowly but surely, chipping away and you're like, okay, when am I going to get there? When am I going to get to the destination? Because I know it's coming. And then you get to the top and you can see over every, you can see the high point and you feel like, okay, everything is cool, right? And then you take that dive and you're going down, but it's okay. You know, you're screaming, hair is flying and you just want it to be over with, but yeah, you just have to keep going right until it's over. So that's where we are. And in the midst of all of that, having to take out new debt in quarter three, another thing that happened was it was a blessing, definitely a blessing. In quarter three, I found out that my student loans were forgiven. And I actually made a video on that because I hadn't disclosed my balance for my student loan debt yet, since I had been waiting since last year to find out if they would be forgiven. And I didn't want to put the cart before the horse. So I just waited it out and I didn't want to make a video ahead of time because I wanted to be sure that that was what my debt was going to be. So $85,000 of my student loans were forgiven roughly. So I also received a refund check of about $700 and that was applied to some of the expenses that we were paying out of pocket for the HVAC system. And, you know, it couldn't have come at a better time. So I'm just thankful that those things happened the way they happened. And we still were blessed in the midst of having to take on new debt because things happen. And sometimes we can't prepare for everything that goes on. So if you are on a debt-free journey as well, I'd like for you to share down below one thing that you were excited about in quarter three that happened. And if you have something that you weren't excited about, you can share that too. I just wanna hear any progress that you've made or want to make on this journey because this journey is it's a long journey, right? So. We want to cheer each other on and continue to move forward and make progress any way we can. So thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video so you can see where I am. Thank you so much. And I look forward to what we have in store for quarter four. And I hope you are too. So take care, be blessed, enjoy this lovely weather. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.